What is going on everybody? This is Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today we got here a super Chinese device and this one is called the OnePlus 5. I got it directly from GearBest.com and this is my first device with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of internal memory and let me tell you guys as of this point I still don't see myself using that much RAM. This is absolutely insane. This device also has the Snapdragon 835, the Adreno 540 and the Android Nougat so this thing is going to definitely fly through the operating system as it does have a clean version of the Android Nougat and also it has a 1080p display so that's going to make it even faster. I will be comparing the Antutu benchmark test scores between the Nubia C17 and this is a super nice smartphone guys. It's one of my favorites and it has to do mainly because of the design and it has great RAM as well. It has great internal memory but now Nubia decided not to include the Play Store on it and it's very I would say hard to install it as of right now until uh, you know somebody's able to root this device so I'm going to give it about two more weeks to see if somebody can tweak it and maybe get the Google Play installed on here because right now I just use a Google installer and you guys can see the Play Store but it doesn't do anything and that's because the phone is not accepting the frameworks so unfortunately it is not functional but I was able to download a few applications I just don't like the fact that I don't have the freedom to download any application directly from the Google Play Store so yes this is a great device but maybe because of the Play Store I may have to let it go and then here we have the Samsung Galaxy S8 so we're going to be comparing all three devices and see who wins now if you guys have seen or heard the rumors um, OnePlus has actually cheated with the OnePlus 5 they tweaked the operating system to give it a more appealing score when it comes to benchmarks like on Geek Benchmark and also the Intuito Benchmark but anyways I just want to complete it and see and compare so let's go ahead here and start with the unboxing. On the front here, we can see the OnePlus logo. It has a big five on there. On the side, they are advertising the cameras. And then on the back side of the phone, we have some Chinese writings on here. Now, even though you guys may think that this is the Chinese model, they actually made one version, which is the global version or the international model. And this one is actually getting 4G LTE with T-Mobile here in the USA. I will install my SIM card just to prove it to you guys. So opening the phone here, we're going to see that well yes I already took it out of the box but it's still I kept all the wraps on here and this is the device in black color it looks absolutely gorgeous and like um, some youtubers have said on their videos this phone at first it may look like the iPhone but when you guys have it in real life and when you see those curves it actually looks very different I would say it does imitate other smartphones out there but it still is a very nice design and I do like the fact that it comes with a fingerprint scanner located on the front side, something that I missed. And I think I may keep this device for quite some time. On the front there we have the camera, the ear speaker, the sensors and such. And this device does come with a back key and a task killer key. They are located here on the sides of the home button. Um, on the back side here we have a 60 megapixel sensor as well as a 20 megapixel sensor and it comes with NFC now. We do have there the uh, dual tone LED flash and here we can see the metallic frame. Let me just go ahead and remove here the protector. There we go. So this is the finish and it's very nice and smooth. And then on the front we have the 5.5 inch display. It has a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and it does have the Corning Gorilla Glass 5. On the left hand side of the phone here we find the volume rockers on this side as well as a mute switch. One of them is for do not disturb, the other one is for silent and the other one is for just regular sound. Okay, just so that you can uh, enable it again. And then on the right side here we have the power key as well as the SIM tray. It is a dual SIM, dual standby device. On the bottom we have the USB um, Type-C. We have the main microphone, the 3.5mm headphone jack and the loudspeaker which is actually quite loud and premium. So let me go ahead and set this aside. Inside of the box here we're going to find the manuals and stuff inside of this little container. And we do have here this photo that was taken with the One Plus 5. It's a really impressive photo. I guess that well this is some sort of uh, advertisement or them being proud of their amazing camera. We have the power brick and this one is super huge and this is called the dash charger. Okay, here we can see the specs, something common from OnePlus and then we got here the USB cable and that's pretty much all we see inside of the box.
All right, so we got the OnePlus 5 all set and running. I already installed the Intuito Benchmark test as well as the Geek Benchmark number four. And I have it here on my Samsung Galaxy S8 as well as on the Nubia Z17. So our next step is to go ahead and make sure that all the tasks are killed. So as you guys can see from the OnePlus 5, it is totally killed as well here as the Nubia Z17 and also the Samsung Galaxy S8. Actually, we had one on here, and there we go. Now everything has been killed. So let's go ahead here and start with the Antutu benchmark. Let me go ahead and open it, and open it on the new BSC 17. And now let's go here into the OnePlus 5. There we go. We have a score already on the Galaxy uh, S8 from past testings, and also here on the OnePlus 5. So we're just going to go ahead and restart all of these testings and see who's going to be the winner. So in one, two, and three. There we go. Okay, so here we have the scoring between the OnePlus 5, the Nubia C17, and the Samsung Galaxy S8. And as we can tell, the clear winner is the OnePlus 5. Now, keep in mind, guys, that it has been confirmed out there that OnePlus 5 did cheat on the scorings. Uh, they made the phone, you know, boost up a little more during the test, and that's why we have a better score. Uh, but nevertheless, guys, they're all very good smartphones depending on the user. Uh, I mean, I do like them all, to be honest with you guys, but my favorite here is the Samsung Samsung Galaxy S8 because of the amazing design, the new 89 ratio screen, the curved edges. I mean, there's so much to talk about the Samsung Galaxy um, S8, but on the other hand, you have these two uh, competitors here with dual cameras and they go above 20 megapixels. They have 4K recording resolution. Now, the difference between these two and the Samsung Galaxy S8 is mainly the price. If you're going to buy the Samsung Galaxy S8 unlocked, it's going to cost you almost $1,000 versus $500, it's actually $440 if you get it from uh, Geek Buying and the OnePlus 5 is about $550 but keep in mind that you're getting uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal storage and it is a dual SIM device and supports LTE here in the United States as I said before I did install my uh, T-Mobile SIM card and as you guys can tell I am getting that LTE support so that's definitely a plus and to further prove it let's go here into the last screen and there you can see that yes I am using T-Mobile so this is definitely a plus guys uh, this is definitely the international model and I may keep this device as I said before as my primary phone for the next couple of months until maybe the um, iPhone 8 gets released uh, with this being said the next testing we're going to complete here is the Geek Benchmark so let's go here into Geekbench 4 and we're going to be killing the task here on the Samsung Galaxy S8 and now we should be all set to go guys. So in one, two, three, let's begin the test.
Okay, so here we have the results of the Geekbench 4, and as you guys can tell from the single core, the winner is the Nubia C17 with 2057. Unfortunately, guys, the loser here is the Samsung Galaxy S8 with 1801, and for the uh, multi-core, the winner is the OnePlus 5, but keep in mind that they are cheating. So for that reason, we really can't take their scoring very seriously. I am more impressed, I would say, here with the Nubia C17 with 6238. Uh, but nevertheless, guys, all these devices are going to make I'm pretty sure every user out there very happy. It all depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for affordability and you don't care much about the Play Store, I would say go with the Nubia C17 if you're buying the device cash. Now, if you're looking for a complete phone with a nice display, I would say great camera and you know something that it is unlocked and you don't spend as much as one thousand dollars i would say definitely go here with the one plus five but then if you want nice looks a very popular device and you know quality then i would say go here with the samsung galaxy s8 all of these are going to be very nice phones and i have tested all of them and i would recommend it to anybody out there with this being said if you guys have any questions you know exactly what to do just leave your comments below please like this video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on my next one